Wesley Research Institute has launched the Queensland Spatial Biology Centre. It's based here at the Wesley. We've got this new technology based inside the hospital, but it's not just about the technology itself, it's about the expertise and the people we've brought together to run the centre. And that's bringing together scientists and clinicians together to provide better therapy for the patients. With the Queensland Spatial Biology Centre, we've got this new technology, the phenocycle effusion. It's the only technology of its kind in a hospital in the country. It's got application beyond just cancer, also in other diseases like respiratory disease, cardiovascular disease. And we're looking more broadly than just Queensland. We're collaborating with other institutes around Australia, but also internationally as well, really looking to see how we can make a global difference to patient therapies worldwide. So this is a truly transformative technology because it allows us to understand every patient's tumour specifically and so we're digitising these tumours, we're able to interrogate them a lot deeper and what it's allowing us to do is identify, potentially identify the right therapy for the right patient but also in the patients that don't respond to therapy we might understand what therapies might work in combination. So there might be resistance in the tumour. And so what these um, technologies are allowing us to do is understand both the sensitivity to therapy, but also the resistance to therapy. And in the cases where there is a resistance, we might be able to identify alternative drugs that may be used in combination with what's being used currently. So it's allowing us to almost, it's almost like taking the layers of an onion, right? So we're revealing the biology for what it is and we're visualizing sensitivity and resistance to therapy on the tissue for the first time. The opportunity to individualise treatment is phenomenal. To understand why that cell does this and not this and how it affects the cells downstream is a huge breakthrough leap forward. It allows us to diagnose quicker but as we get better at this it allows us then to kind of work backwards and say that cycle is broken. Why is that cycle broken? This drug can affect that cycle. So it allows us to go backwards and then we can retrofit it to find a disease or a protein and uh, titrate or develop a treatment specific for the way that those two cells interact. That's a game changer. For me, lung cancer, regardless of how you get it and what you get, it is a terrible thing. So I went on a journey to try and understand what I had. It took me to overseas, to Washington DC and to Barcelona. And from there, I think um, I, I realised um, I don't really want to know much about my condition. I want to know about the condition. And when I, when I say the condition, I mean the condition in research and where we're at, um, the condition in different types of lung cancer that exist and, and, and where the world is in treating that situation. So yeah, I started to think more big picture. Brisbane as a city will grow in this space as a leading technological hub for spatial mapping. And that, that's, that's, I mean, that's fantastic. I saw having a Silicon Valley here in Brisbane, but in the, in the lung cancer space or in the cancer space, in the space of digital mapping. And I, I think people underestimate what this will do. We are at that bleeding edge. And so we're making discoveries every time we run an experiment. So that's really exciting for us. I think like when I started my PhD, I couldn't even uh, comprehend this technology um, and the fact that now I'm working in this space and working on spatial biology. I, like, I didn't even know what this was, you know, five, five years ago. Um, so I'm just, I'm so excited to see what's next and, you know, the next leap in technology um, and where we can go from here. We're incredibly grateful for ourselves, but also incredibly proud that Brisbane is first and foremost and St Andrews and the Wesley are ahead of anyone else, hospital or university in the country.